What's going on guys? Houston from Miller Precision Machining and Firearms here. Today we're going to go through our new facility and do a full shop tour. We've got all of our equipment here. We're fully up and operational. We're going to give a little bit of some updates on production of the pistols as well. So to go ahead and kick the tour off, we're going to start over here in our lathe department. Uh, we still do a lot of job shop work over here. This is um, more just standard machining. We're doing a lot of uh, suppressor components, muzzle devices, stuff like that for some big names in the industry, which we can't really talk about. but. This is our uh, Morisiki NLX, it's a 2014 machine. We've got twin spindles, uh, live tooling on there. We do a lot of complex uh, mill turning in here. Moving over to this machine here, we've got a little Doosan Lynx 220. This is a twin spindle machine as well. Uh, live tooling, but no Y-axis, a little less complicated work. But again, we're doing some, uh, some different machining for some customers we can't quite talk about. Down the line is a little bit more of uh, the same story. This is more of a job shop machine we use for you know, suppressor components, stuff like that. Uh, this is an NL. Uh, it's the exact same machine actually as the NLX, but a little bit of an older machine. This is a 2006. We've got, as you can see with this one open, we've got uh, two spindles, you got twin spindles. We have the turret, we have Y-axis. So we have all of our turning tools mounted in one location. We have live tooling on here. We're able to do cross holes, flats, all of your really complex milling, so a lot of your muzzle devices, stuff like that, they come complete out of this machine, which is really, really neat. But behind us here, what's really exciting is our new Doosan MX2500 ST. It's new to us, uh, but this machine is gonna be awesome. We're gonna be doing a lot of our barrel manufacturing in here, a lot of very complex parts that we can't talk about in here as well. In this machine, we've got two spindles as most of our other lays have. We also have a lower turret. So we got 12 stations on the lower turret to do any live tooling as well as standard turning. And this, this turret can work on both spindles along with the upper. The upper is where this thing shines. This is awesome. So this head is able to rotate 110 degrees either direction. It's actually able to go back and do a tool change like a mill. And we've got full 12,000 RPM mill spindle in that upper turret there. We're also able to lock it at different angles and put turning tools in it. So we can do pinch turning on the main or the sub. We can do pinch milling. We can have the upper working on the main. We can have the lower working on the sub. We're able to do a lot more complex work in here. This is really what we call a multitasking machine. This is a nine axis mill turn machine. We're making a lot of barrels in here. We're gonna be doing a lot of complex turning and milled components in here as well. It's gonna be really awesome. This will be the future of how we do all of our barrels. But currently, how we're doing our barrels is the old school lollipop method that a lot of other manufacturers are currently using and still use. This is our old SL Morisiki. We start out putting some raw stock in here from the barrels. We face both ends of it. We stick it between centers. We turn the OD true to the rifling. We do another operation where we turn the actual length of the barrel, thread it, you know, port it, whatever it is the barrel's calling for. And then we actually flip it over and do a final operation in the lathe where we create the breech face on the back of the, of the hood. And then we chamber, finish the chamber reaming on the uh, CNC as well. So then we have a created a lollipop and that's gonna go to the fourth axis mill to get finalized milling done on it. But moving further out into the shop, this is kind of where we have all this space to grow. We're able to expand. We can have plenty of power. There's lots of equipment we can add. And uh, we got the Swiss department over there. In the back corner, we have our uh, media and deburring area. And then we have the area where all of our material comes into the shop. So coming in the big bay door, we're gonna have all of your 12 foot lengths, all your pallets of material, however we choose to have it come in. Everything's gonna come in this back door. It's gonna either go through processing in the saw, or if it's already cut and on a pallet, it's gonna make its way right to the machines. All the machining centers are set up to your different material types. We're cutting all sorts of aluminum, steel, stainlesses. You know, we do job shop work every day, but we also are producing the pistols. But moving into the back corner, we have all of our air compressors and everything set up back here. And this is also where we do all of our media blasting, all of our tumbling and deburring. He's running the blaster right now, so it's a little loud back here. So we'll just take a peek in here. Like I said, it's a little loud in here, but we've got two vibratory tumblers, we've got a vapor blaster, and we've got a dry traditional blaster as well. We've also got, you know, grinder, belt sander, stuff like that over here in the edge. But moving back out of there, we have the Swiss department. 
This is where all of the pins, the grip bushings, all of our screws, everything else we make in-house here. We make everything for this pistol other than the springs and optics at this point, basically. So everything's done in-house. The Swisses are a huge part of that, making all the firing pins, all the hammer pins, uh, the grip retaining pins, the screws. Like I said, little, all those little small turn components are made over here. Going up into where the magic happens, we're coming to the mill department. You're gonna see all of our tool benches over here on the right. This is where all of our nuts and bolts are. This is where the table for all of our uh, consumables is. We have finished parts that come out of the lathe but need to go to the milling for a final operation. Sit on the table over here as well. It's more of a staging area. And then we have the main toolbox where we have all of our hand tools, all of our cutting tools, all of our inserts, everything like that. So all of the machinists can come over here, grab what they need, right central in the middle of the shop. The first machine we're gonna walk up to is our new wire EDM. The reason we have a wire EDM here is for a, a few things. The main reason is the slides. We're going to be producing our own slides in-house and to create the breech face properly, we can't fully machine it in the machine. So we need to pick out the face so that the barrels seat into these properly. The only way to do that is with a brooch or with a wire EDM. And with a wire EDM, your consistency is far better, your accuracy is far better. This machine uses a very thin wire to actually edge find each component individually and then make the cut. And this thing actually is not touching the metal at all. It's actually like a hot wire through foam. It's a 10,000 stick brass wire that's actually not contacting the part and is walking its way through the part using electricity to erode away the metal. So right now he's getting set up to actually do a test cut on a slide and then we'll be ready to go. So one of our first big machines is our horizontal. We call this Big Papa. It is a monster. It's a 500 millimeter pallet horizontal. We have uh, twin pallets. So we'll have a pallet inside the machine running and machining. And we have a pallet outside the machine here. This is where the operator is gonna stand to load the machine, check parts, and get it ready. Once you hit the ready button, when the cycle is done inside the machine, it will swap the pallets out automatically and continue to run. And we've got this machine set up to do nothing but frames. So as you can see, the spindle is horizontal in this machine, hence why we call it a horizontal. But it's got a 40 ATC uh, tool changer on it. We've got through spindle coolant. We've got a 12,000 RPM spindle. We're able to do a lot of really fine, small milling, so it's a perfect machine to do these frames for these pistols. Moving over here, we've got the, the fifth, we call it. Uh, it is our five axis mill currently. This is where we're currently making all of our mainspring housings, our grips. We do some beaver tails in here as well. This machine right now is doing uh, some of the parts we do for Vulcan, uh, but we make all of our grips in here, aluminum, and we're gonna be doing some steel in the future. Across the way here, we have one of our four axis mills. Uh, this is where we're actually doing barrel finishing. So we've got the barrel lollipops over here with a timing device on there, it's keyed. We have to time the threads to our compensators for the X model. And these actually will drop into our indexer here and they'll key and they'll time the right direction. We set these out a certain distance, tighten it up. We have a machining operation here and it goes on to the fourth axis and we have a machining operation there and the finished barrels come out. Over here, we've got Alpha. This is one of our first machines. I added a fourth axis to this machine a few years back. We're actually getting this machine set up to do nothing but the slides. Uh, we're doing that so that we're able to produce more firearms per month for everybody. We should be hoping to do around 100 a month uh, pretty soon. We're getting set up. We got production going in the horizontal. Uh, we're waiting on slides now, so we're not running the horizontal at the moment. But once we get the slides set up, we will be producing slides and frames. Five to six of them per day uh, is the goal if not more, if we get a second shift operation going. So lots of stuff, you know, in the works. Over here is kind of our, our do-all machine. This is just a three-axis Doosan. We call this Bravo. Uh, it does a lot of the material prep. So all of our dovetail prep for frames and slides goes through here along with the grips. Uh, right now we're currently doing the grips, uh, the final operation in here as well. Once they come out of here, the grips are finished. We're gonna be changing that process to use the wire EDM to do the mag well, and we will finish them because it's the same way then in here. 
coming around the corner here to uh, back to the middle of the shop, kind of. We've got we've got our new five-axis mill. This mill is where gonna where we're gonna be doing all of our grip manufacturing as time goes on. Once we get this machine up and fully operational, all of our grip manufacturing will transfer to this machine. This machine is gonna be really awesome because not only is it a true five-axis trunnion style machine. We also have a higher RPM spindle and a pallet changer, along with more tooling capacity. So we're going to be able to set up all of our grips in here, aluminum and steel variants, just simply change the program out, load some material, and make chips. This is going to be a great machine and a great tool. We should be able to get the cycle time down to around an hour for each grip. We should be able to make 18 to 20 grips per day. Um, it's going to be phenomenal. It's got a pallet changer on this machine as well, just like our horizontal. We have two pallets. So there's really just a big tool change arm out here. It's gonna pick it up and swap it in when it's ready to switch. The real cool thing about this machine is the tool matrix. We can put up to 90 different tools in this machine. There's a little robot arm trolley that goes in here and grabs each tool as we go. And uh, we're able to tool up all the aluminum grips and the steel grips. So like I said, any, anything we wanna run, all we gotta do is change the program, load the material, and we'll be off to the races. So we're gonna move over to uh, the inspection room now where all the final inspection goes on and we check things for a QC and get things ready to get sent out to coating. So the first thing you see when you walk into QC is our huge granite table. At our previous location, we weren't able to access all sides of this. We're super excited and very happy to be able to use and utilize this entire granite table that we have. We also added a table right next to it for the guys to do out the, fill out their paperwork, their first article inspections. Uh, lay some parts out here as you can see. Uh, we are, you know, producing components. So we've got 24 uh, comp gun slides and barrels laid out on the table right here as well. Uh, we've got a grip up here. The CMM is running over here, uh, not at the very moment, but we will be running this, we are running this, to check our frames, our slides, grips, and barrels. We're also going to extend that into extractors and a few other components as well, like safety, slide catches, all that fun stuff will be checked in the CMM, as well as double and triple checked by hand at the machine and on the granite surface plate as well. We do first article inspections on all of our components before we continue, before we get into full production of them. There are requirements and paperwork at each machine that we fill out as we go. We, there are some dimensions we check every single component and they are all written down so we have a record of what is actually going on in the machine. That helps us track tool life, that helps us track quality, that keeps us where we should be all the time. With the CMM, we are actually able to throw a rock lock base up onto the CMM, do a inspection mid-process, mid-manufacturing process on our frames, and we're able to ensure everything is correct. If there is something that is not correct and we can adjust it or repair it at the machine, we can take this base back off, put it back in the machine, it repeats within two tenths of an inch, and we can actually repair or fix if there was a broken tool or something like that happened, we can fix the frame before we move to the final operation and actually finish the gun out. So that's a very critical and awesome thing we do. We run every single frame and every single slide through the CMM during every process and every step of the way. Coming out of the inspection room, we're gonna just take a peek here in the corner. We've got a little bit of a mess going. We've been playing around getting stuff ready to get out to dealers. But we've got our programming office. This is where a lot of the programming for the milling and the turning gets done. And then underneath the stairs here, kind of had a waste of space. So we decided to put our 3D printing for prototyping and also our laser engraver. So as you can see, we got 24 frames laid out here as well, fresh off the laser. So everything's serialized. Everything's going to get blasted and go out to coating here in the coming weeks. And we're going to get some of these guns out to dealers and into your guys' hands. Over here, we've got the packing table. This is where everything kind of gets done, packed up and sent out. And then we've got my office. My office is half of a mess sometimes, half not. This is where we get a lot of design work done. I do some programming as well, where I answer all you guys' emails and questions as well. So coming back upstairs to kind of finish the video out, we are getting our gunsmith bench set up. Uh, a lot of our pistols are gonna be bolt together, really no hand fitting. They're gonna come right off the machine. 
uh, and go together. That's why we have such an awesome team here. We're doing such high quality work and we have the CMM checking every step of the way. We're gonna be achieving the same, if not better, fitment than a lot of these hand fit guns you're seeing out there. We're making everything in house, everything coincides perfectly. It's really an awesome system we have going. Uh, we're still currently playing with our old prototypes and pre-production models you guys saw at SHOT Show. Uh, we're checking for wear patterns, checking for issues. Uh, so far, so good. We're, we're having really great success and we're really excited about it. So this isn't a final setup yet, um, but we're getting there and we're working through it. We're going to have a full-time gunsmith starting next week and we're going to be building these pistols out. It's going to be a good time. This is where all of our current online orders get packed. So all of your grips you guys are ordering, um, beaver tail deletes, triggers, stuff like that. Everything comes out of inventory from over here. We bring it over here, pack it up, bring it downstairs and it gets shipped out. So we got a wall of a little bit of ammo here and then we've got the inventory for everything. Uh, we're gonna be building a cage around this and locking all this up so we can keep an inventory of pistols here as well. Um, but this is where all of our grips, all of our springs, beaver tails, guide rods, magazines, triggers, you name it, everything's in these bins and in the small bins over here of all the smaller components like the pins, all the stuff out of the Swiss machines. It's all kept over here, nice and organized. We grab everything as we go and build what we need. Got our safe, obviously, fun stuff, fun toys. You know, we're gun guys just like everybody else, so we got some fun stuff laying around. We got all of our bags ready to go for shipping pistols in. We got some t-shirts and hats we'll be giving away with each pistol as well. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been the shop tour here at Miller Precision Machining and Firearms. And uh, we're really excited about the future, and we hope you are too.